So we got the oars installed inside. This dry bag right here, which will get moved, but um, there's the seat with the cushion cover on it. But everything just stores in here so nice. I mean, I really like that. I don't know, I'm geeking out on that. 2023 and season four. I think this will even go to 2024. I don't know. All I can tell you is that we've been sailing the boat and enjoying ourselves. Minimal amount of boat work this year, but that's okay. I want to enjoy my family. I want to enjoy the boat. And I also want to enjoy some boat drinks. Nothing better than being sun-kissed on the uh, water. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed these videos. And if there's something you want to see, I implore you to reach out and ask me. And I'm more than happy to record it for you. Boat work is my favorite. So if you have some need for a helping hand by all means just reach out i'm here but until then i hope you guys uh hit that like and subscribe button and cheers to you in the water good morning so i did a thing we're gonna be unboxing this what could it be so this is a um high field uh ultralight 310 so let's get this thing opened now because i'm so excited to see it <clears throat> i feel like i can't get a break with my grass it's non-stop non-stop cutting this grass. sucks so anyway this is from defender marine and from what i understand they open it and then uh make sure everything's good and then they repackage it we'll see Water, down on there. So, right off the bat, it was packed rather, rather, <clears throat> rather nice. Now we got some foam. My only issue is, how in the world am I going to get it to the marina after this? I have to get it painted. Probably should have done this at the marina. Okay. I'm gonna to want to put it in the water as soon as I can. Probably just use a lot of this foam over again. Right, so I just got it done. Um, she's out. Packaging was amazing uh, from Defender. Kudos to you guys. Totally safe the way you had it done. I'm not going to throw any of this away until I get this bottom job done and the boat inflated. Yada yada. I'm going to use some of this material so when I get it in the trailer, um, I can get it down to the marina safely. Um, I don't have a jet ski trailer yet. This was a uh, something that just kind of popped up. So. Um, I still got to get that, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing inflated now. So it comes, I mean, again, it came packaged really nice. Um, there's a box of goodies, I suspect three chambers. It's an ultralight. So it is an aluminum hull, which we can see. Sorry, people. There's the aluminum hull. Um, transom's aluminum. This is the PVC model. So, um, the PVC is hot welded, which is awesome. But let's go see what's in this box. And then we're going to get this semi-inflated. Um, and then I can go ahead and bring it up to the correct uh, pressure. We'll flip it over and I'll just give it a bottom job. And it looks like it's going to be rather easy. I may even do the aluminum first. Flip this over onto some cardboard. Let the aluminum dry. Then I can do the, uh, the copper-based ablative for the tubes which will not touch the aluminum at that point in time, making things a tad easier. Um, why do I do bottom jobs on my dinks? Because I leave them in the water. Um, I don't have divot davits, and I don't like taking it out to clean all the time. So leave it in the water, let it have its, uh, its life there, basically. And we tow it behind the boat. Oh, this is neat. This is the welded tow ring. I'm very excited about that. No more worrying if I hit a big wave. It's just gonna rip off. All right, let me see what's in this box. All right, what do we got in the box? Let's see here. Ooh, cool, another dry bag. So, 
This one comes with a dry bag. We'll open that up in a minute. We got our oars. We got, I don't know what that is yet. Repair kit. That's cool. Uh, I'm assuming. All right, so this is the seat cushion and bag. Our foot pump and our seat. That's pretty awesome. What is this? What is this? Let's see. Oh, cool. Uh, Keychain, pen, little documents bag, water thermometer. That's neat. Right, that that is. A compass, a whistle, and a thermometer. That's awesome. I feel well done. Owner's manual, stuff like that. So that'll stay on the boat. That's kind of cool. Put reg Reggie in there. I like that they give you the dry bag. All right, cool. So let's. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and inflate her. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use my Ryobi pump. But I'm, I'm, I'm gotta be honest, I'm kinda still thinking, before I inflate it, I kinda wanna paint the aluminum. And I think while it's like this, uh, I won't have, well, I may not have issues while it's inflated either, to be honest. Because I don't think the tube's gonna really expand down. So maybe I'll do one side just to see. And if I can, then I'll, I'll paint it like with the tubes semi-inflated. And if I can't, then I'll just deflate it again. So let me go get my inflator and we can start to bring her uh, to, you know, to form, so to speak. Let me go get that. Hmm. Oh, this thing's gonna be so much fun. The kids are gonna freak. Kids are gonna freak out over this. The construction of it just looks to be amazing. Amazing. So I've been laughed at a million times for using this. I've had Ryobi tools since I bought my first house and they're awesome. They've never let me down, especially for what I use them for. Um, yeah. They're not commercial, even though I do some commercial work. But who knows? So we gotta find our valves. There's one for the front. Let's see here. There is my oh, we got one here, which I assume would be the other one over there. So I'm just gonna use this to bring it up a little. So I'm gonna go push in and turn. There we go. Alright, I feel like this thing's the Titanic. <laughs> it's so big. It's, again, this is a little bigger than the one I had originally wanted, but it wasn't available. And this was basically the same price. So I said, you know what? No one ever gets mad they went bigger. Um, so cool. I mean, the depth on it. It feels like a real boat, like a, like a real rib. Now, mind you, I've been using a West Marine rib, or not a rib, West Marine roll-up. Um, and for sail camp, or we'll use sail camp. If I'm towing one of the Opti's or 420, as I'm using my tiller, it's like the Tokyo Drift. You, you get no tracking. I mean, it's just, you can't, you can't steer the unit. So I've wanted a, a rib, and this just uh, made sense to me. Highfield really has a great reputation. Um, I'm super stoked to finally have something nice, you know, not uh, a hand-me-down. Now, is it getting the best engine just yet? No, because I can't afford that yet, but next year maybe we can get a, a nice uh, motor. I'll say the splash rail, um, so it's a little different on the classic versus the ultralight, but um, from what I can tell from the videos I was watching on the ultralight, there's not really many of them. This was smaller, and it looks like they actually made it a little larger. So this is a splash rail. I mean, it's a good rub rail, but it'll also stop some of the splashing. We got a D-ring here, and I believe, yeah, here, which will give us the three-point bridle. Now, again, on my West Marine, I only use um, two. There goes some foam flying all over the place. And we got this little full floor, kind of like the classic. So I'm a little confused. I don't, I'm gonna have to go back and look at some some videos on that. Now what I was also curious about was what that looked like. Okay, so the self baler valve. I kind of want to put LEDs on this. I know that's a little ridiculous, but I need to get a look at this to see what uh, 
size I would need. Transom's nice. And this is neat because, again, I think I read on Defender that they did something to the floor. Factory installed. I didn't know what that meant. Um, so this has a little bilge area. I'm going to keep my feet nice and dry. And then when I'm doing my bailing with my, you know, sub pump, I can uh, do it from right there. So I didn't realize that this would have that as the classic. I think that's something... And then the classic has this as the ultralight. I'm just a tad confused, you know, opening this today because I, I was told that it wouldn't have that. Um, I'll have to go back and look at what I exactly purchased because it did say um, supplier installed floor. I just thought that meant that they put down the better, um, whatever this is called. Um, it's been a long night. We were out working on boats last night, so and drinking beer. As you see there, it's got the lift points. See right there and there in the front, here and here. Um, not that I use um, davits, but that's pretty damn cool. The oars are pushed back. I like all the grab handles so far. Look at that. There's so many of them. And for a family of five, I think this is going to be a perfect size boat. I'm going to wind up doing a 9.9. .9. Um, some people will probably say that doesn't really make sense. But hear me out on why I'm going to do a 9.9. .9. I'm buying a trailer so I can take this thing places with me. And where we live in New York, there's a ton of lakes, beautiful lakes, Jersey, New York. They don't allow anything more than a 9.9. So I was really into the Tuhatsu 15 and I was really into the Tuhatsu 9.9, the EFI model, but you can't upgrade the carburetor on an EFI. But I can buy a Merc 9.9 and buy the 15 horsepower conversion kit. They're the exact same motor. So who knows if I'll do that or not. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get this thing in the water. I do want to take it up to its normal pressure just to get all these wrinkles out. So I'm going to do that in a second. I want to put the seat in, get a gander at it with that. But I mean, this thing's just so deep. This is a, just a big boat. It's a big boat, people. This is going to be a lot of fun. The kids are going to have a blast with me. And we'll start really exploring some more of the, the cool little nooks and crannies on the huts in here. Um, we really, I'm scared to do it with the the current one I have because I don't want to pop it and now I have a rigid hull which is going to make things a lot nicer to get it a little closer you know all right let's uh let's put the other things in here and have another look oh man she's a big girl so I wanted to see how it looked with the seat in it I'm going to put the whole thing together in a second for you I actually want to put the cushion on but I dig the seat man it's it's nice it's easy to put in and out I will say this though I'm going to have to reach out to Defender I got Maybe it'll go away when it gets some heat on it, but I don't like this pinch. So I want to let them know about that right away. Um, thank God I have an unboxing video, so that's good. But getting it pumped up to its uh, pressure really wasn't very hard. It took uh, like maybe five minutes um, using the foot pump, which I will say is a beast. Um, Well-made well -made beast, this thing. It, it just hammered the air into her. 3.6 PSI. Um, yeah, I just, I think that these little wrinkles will go away over time, but I still want to make them aware of it. Um, this, especially right here, this one's the one that worries me. Probably nothing though. It'll be in the sun today and I'm sure it'll be fine. Like everything, it's its first time, you know, being out in the elements and I'm sure once I get some heat on it, everything will stretch out nicely and I want it to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put the oars inside today. Uh, I'm not going to be keeping them up here. I want to make as much space for the family as possible when we're in this. And I think I'm going to be getting a second seat. But let's put the whole thing together, how I'm going to keep it, and then we can uh, flip her over and get her painted before I go out in sailboat today, which is sort of my plan. But I'm taking too much time recording, as my wife would say. <sighs> I'm not taking this off either. I'm going to leave that on until I get her... Uh, I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. It's off now. It's done. Look at that. That transit's nice. 15 inch shaft this one takes. I'm still totally confused about this. I just thought the hull it seems to have a second floor put in it. Pretty cool. Alright. So we got the oars installed inside. This dry bag right here. Which will get moved. But um, there's the seat with the cushion cover on it. But everything the stores in here is so nice. I mean, I really like that. I don't know, I'm geeking out on that. And this is where the fuel tank could sit. 
and then you can run your fuel line down the side. There's all spots for that, and then come right back to it. Um, however, I don't know if I'm going to keep my tank there or not. I think that that is a perfect space for a cooler. Yes, and then it would be like a seat, and then I could just keep the tank back there like a like a peasant, I suppose. But pretty awesome, guys. This thing is. If you're looking for a dinghy um, or a rib, I should say, I can't. I can stop saying dinghy now because this is a rib. But just awesome. It is awesome. Um, the front comes up super high. I don't even know where this thing is going to be. I don't even know if these tubes need to be painted, to be honest with you. I may hold off on painting the tubes and just do the aluminum for now. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out when I flip her over. Maybe I'll just do the very bottom of the tubes so I don't get any growth. But well done, Highfield. Well done. I like how the transom sits lower, though. I was nervous with the foam on it before. That it was going to be high. I know they said 15 inch shaft, um, but it with the foam on there, I was like, man, that's going to need a 20. So, all right, I'm going to lay, take this stuff out here in a minute, and then um, you know what? Actually, hold on, I'm going to get a cooler and see how the cooler would look right there. So give me one second. All right, so this is this wouldn't be the cooler I use because of the handle, but something that size, how cool is that? It's got the strap and everything. So that's not half bad. I won't be using this cooler though because of the handle, but it fits, it fits right there. Um, just got to get one a tad smaller. Just they put a lot of thought and effort into this, a lot of thought and effort. All right, time to do a paint job. I am, uh, I'm super stoked about this and um, yeah, can't wait to get her in the water. We got to get it registered now. Well, first painted, then registered. Now. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, but I am going to name it something, and I want my wife to paint it on, um, kind of just for fun, you know, something painted on there, a name, and uh, I think I know what I'm going to call it. I got three options, so talk to some friends and figure out what they think I should do. <sighs> All right, let's, uh, let's clean this up now. Man, my GoPro battery just isn't holding anymore. I'm going to have to swap that out soon. All right, so... This is what it looks like upside down. Um, we got the aluminum hull, and then we're bonded here to the tube. Pretty darn cool. It's a little wrinkly. Hmm. Either way, we'll check the pressure afterwards. Maybe that, just, I think it just needs to stretch out. I got them all to three six. So I need to paint this now, and I'm thinking I'm gonna come to the top of this weld. That'll make my measurements very easy on both sides. A uh, good friend of mine, Dave Gannon from Sailing Dark Angel, I just reached out to him. He sent me a picture of it in the water. Now he has the 290 Classic, um, so it's going to sit a little lower in the water because it's heavier, but I think what I'm going to wind up doing is his pontoons in the back were absolutely in the water, so I think I'm going to follow basically from here across, up, around, and then I'll slowly come up right around here up so this this area is not going to get painted but again I think I'm going to come from like right here and slowly swoop it back or maybe even maybe even here that's a good start point and I'll swoop it back uh, not even that high uh, well we'll do it with the tape and we'll see how it looks but I know that this tube is absolutely going to be in the water probably almost to here uh, judging by his now he is again the uh, the 290 classic so it's got all the bells and whistles but I'm still kind of interested in that second floor that's in there. So um, either way, it's not even too heavy, by the way. Um, it's an awkward shape. I don't think I can move it on my own, but pretty cool. So this part will be painting it. Um, that's what we're going to get going on now. So I'm going to start that video and swap out this battery. But if you do have any questions about the high field, let me know. And yeah, don't forget to hammer that like and subscribe. Cheers.